Hey guys, I'm Corey. Welcome to another episode of Zipper Tubing TV. Typically when there's a break in EMI shielding, um, easiest way to repair it is actually with a piece of EMI tape. Uh, we have tape in a couple different forms. Um, we have the actual knit mesh itself, and then we can stuff the knit mesh with either an aluminum foil or a copper foil like this one showing right here. Now, when you apply the tapes, there is a technique to it. You're gonna wanna make sure you maintain what's called a 50% overlap. Basically what that means is as we go around the wire, we wanna wrap half of the tape back on itself. The reason that we do that is simply so that when uh, the, the EMI shielding itself will actually protect. So you can see here, as we're actually wrapping it around the wire, we're gonna wanna make sure that we only advance half of the tape width for each wrap that we actually go around. Now by doing this, we have a conductive adhesive on the back side that allows the conductive surfaces to actually touch each other and provide a fully sealed EMI shield. Typically you would see a tape EMI shield like this at any juncture with a number of our other coverings. Sometimes if you have a sleeve meeting with um, any type of a, say a heat shrink enclosure or other zipper sleeves like that, an EMI shield in the tape form would be very good for like a harness breakout or anything like that to provide adequate uh, protection for you. 